Aprende inglés paso a paso. Lección 6. Nivel avanzado. Paso 1. Gramática 1. Verb to look, which is parecer, for example. Ejercicios a traducir. Po, pareces cansado. You look tired. Ok, more examples. Eso parece interesante. That looks interesting. Good. Él no parece muy contento, ¿verdad? He doesn't look very happy, does he? Great. Pareces harto. You look fed up. Perfect. Eso parece difícil. That looks difficult. Good. Pareces feliz. You look happy. Pareces emocionada. You look excited. Good. Emocionada, excited. Now, look like. Parece que has tenido bastante. You look like you've had enough. Perfect. You look like you've had enough. Parece que ella no quiere estar aquí. She looks like he, she doesn't want to be here. Good. One more time. She looks like she doesn't want to be here. Perfect. She looks like she doesn't want to be here. Parecía que el hombre no sabía de qué estaba hablando. The man looked like he, did, he didn't know what he was talking about. Perfect. The man looked like he didn't know what he was talking about. No parece que ella esté de acuerdo. She doesn't look like she agrees. Good. She doesn't look like she agrees. Parece que están aburridos. They look like they're bored. Good. They look like they're bored. Parece que vinieras de guerra, de la guerra. You look like you've been dragged through a hedge backwards. Excellent. Our expression, you look like you've been dragged through a hedge backwards. Parece que a los dos nos hace falta una ducha. We both look like we could use a shower. Excellent. We both look like we could use a shower. Paso dos. Exprésate como un nativo. Ok, now we're going to look at the expression to be on the ball, which is... Estar espabilado. Good, or estar al tanto. Remember, ball... Ejercicios a traducir. Ok, let's look at the examples. Tendrás que estar espabilada en la reunión de mañana. You'll have to be on the ball at tomorrow's meeting. Good, no le vas a pillar. Siempre está al tanto. You won't catch him out. He's always on the ball. Perfect. Venga, tienes que estar más espabilado. Come on, you need to be more on the ball. Great, come on. You need to be more on the ball. En esta oficina es difícil estar siempre al tanto. It's difficult to be always on the ball in this office. Perfect. Como controlador aéreo, no me puedo permitir no estar espabilado en todo momento. As an air traffic controller, I can't afford not to be on the ball at all times. Perfect. As an air traffic controller, I can't afford not to be on the ball at all times. ¿Por qué les dejaste entrar? Te dije que estuvieses al tanto. What did you let them in? I told you to be on the ball. Perfect. Why did you let them in? I told you to be on the ball. Me distraje. No estaba espabilado. I got distracted. I wasn't on the ball. Perfect. I got distracted. I wasn't on the ball. Ok, ahora cambiamos. Chicos, tenemos que estar todos al tanto, ¿vale? Guys, we all need to be on the ball, ¿ok? No bajes la guardia. Estate al tanto. Perfect. Don't let your guard down. Be on the ball. Vas a tener que estar al tanto. You're going to have to be on the ball. Lo que estamos buscando es a alguien que esté al tanto. What we're looking for is is someone who's on the ball. Él es tan despistado, ojalá pudiera estar más atento. He's so absent-minded. I wish he could be more on the ball. Escucha, Thomas, de verdad, necesitamos que estés al tanto de ahora en adelante. Listen, Thomas, we really need you to be on the ball from now on. No puedes esperar que los demás solucionen todos los problemas. Tú también tienes que estar más al tanto. You can't just expect everyone else to do the problem solving. You need to be more on the ball too. Perfect. You were on the ball with that one. Paso 3. Pronunciación. Ok, now we're going to look at the past of the verb to miss, which is... Missed. Perfect. Missed. One syllable and the strong T at the end. Missed is when... Echas de menos a alguien. Perfect. I missed my mother, for example. Cuando se te escapa algo. Perfect. I missed the train. Cuando faltas a un acto o te pierdes algo. algo. Perfect. I missed class yesterday. O cuando te cruzas con alguien o no llegas a ver a alguien. Perfect. I missed him. Ok. Ejercicios a traducir. Parece que llegas un poco tarde. It looks like you just missed them. Perfect. Me encanta saber que me echaste de menos cuando estabas fuera. It's nice to know you missed me while you were away. Excellent. Lo que más eché de menos fue un buen plato de curry. A good curry is what I missed most. Perfect. A good curry is what I missed most. Ella perdió el último autobús. Parece que está esperando el siguiente. She missed the last bus. She looks like she's waiting for the next one. Perfect. Te perdiste el episodio anoche. Yo también me lo perdí. Did you miss last night? 
night's episode. I missed it too. Perfect. Did you miss last night's episode? I missed it too. Eche de menos como cocinas, mamá. I really missed your cooking, mom. Good. Me perdí cuatro clases de baile el mes pasado. No me puedo perder otra esta noche. I missed four dance classes last month. I can't miss another one tonight. Perfect. Me perdí la llamada que estaba esperando, ¿verdad? I missed the call I was expecting, didn't I? Great. I missed the call I was expecting, didn't I? Espero que me echaras de menos mientras estaba fuera. I hope you missed me while I was away. No le esperamos y perdió el vuelo. We didn't wait for him and he missed the flight. Perfect. We didn't wait for him and he missed the flight. La semana pasada falté a mi cita con el médico. Last week I missed my doctor's appointment. Great. Last week I missed my doctor's appointment. Si no hubieras esperado hasta el último momento, no te habrías perdido esa oportunidad. If you hadn't waited till the last minute, you wouldn't have missed your chance. Great. No te vi esta mañana. Espero que nos crucemos otra vez. I missed you this morning. I hope not to miss you again. Perfect. I missed you this morning. I hope not to miss you again. Esperaba dar en la diana, pero fallé. I expected to hit the target, but I missed. Fantastic. Paso 4. Phrasal verb. Okay, now we're going to look at the phrasal verb to take up time, which is ocupar tiempo. E Ejercicios a traducir. Contestar a los mensajes de correo electrónico me requiere mucho tiempo. Replying to emails takes up a lot of time, a lot of my time. Good, one more time. Replying to emails takes up a lot of my time. Great, replying to emails takes up a lot of my time. ¿Qué es lo que ocupa la mayor parte de tu tiempo? What takes up most of your time? Great, limpiar el garaje me llevó la mayor parte parte de la mañana. Cleaning the garage took up most of the, mo of the morning. Great. Cleaning the garage took up most of the morning. Hacer recados me ocupó toda la mañana. Running errands took up my whole morning. Great. Jugar con tus hijos te ocupa todo el tiempo libre. Does playing with your children take up all of your free time? Great. Does playing with your children take up all of your free time? Pelar las patatas me lleva tanto tiempo. Peeling potatoes takes up so much of my time. Peeling potatoes takes up so much of my time. Perfect. No hay nada peor que ordeñar las vacas de mano. ¿Me ocupa tanto tiempo? There's nothing worse than milking the cows by hand. It takes up so much of my time. Fantastic. Escribir las felicitaciones de Navidad a todos mis amigos y familia me lleva mucho tiempo. Writing Christmas cards all of, to all of my friends and family takes up a lot of time. All of, all. One more time, one more time. Writing Christmas cards to all of my friends and family takes up a lot of my time. Perfect. Writing Christmas cards to all my friends and family takes up a lot of my time. Time. Los trabajos domésticos me ocupan mucho tiempo. Household chores takes up a lot of my time. Good. Household chores. One more time. Oh, chores. Household chores takes up a lot of my time. Good. One more time. Take up. Okay. Plural. Take up. Household chores take up a lot of my time. Great. Ir al trabajo me lleva mucho tiempo. Commuting takes up a lot of my time. Great. Commuting takes up a lot of my time. Archivar me ocupa la mayor parte de la mañana. Filing takes up most of my morning. Fantastic. Quitar el polvo de las estanterías me lleva a la gran parte del fin de semana. Dusting the shelves takes up a lot of my weekend. Great. Alfabetizar mi colección de CD me ocupa mucho tiempo. Putting my CD collection in alphabetical order takes up a lot of my time. Fantastic. Putting my CD collection in alphabetical order takes up a lot of my time. Exprimir naranjas me lleva muchísimo tiempo. No podemos comprar un exprimidor mejor. Squeezing oranges takes up so much of my time. Can we get a better juicer? Fantastic. Paso 5 Vocabulario. Ok, vocabulary. El mundo del arte. The world of art. Te pongo a prueba. Marco. Frame. Lienzo. Canvas. Pincel. Paintbrush. Paleta. Palette. Palette. Good. Caballete. Easel. Retrato. Portrait. Portrait. Good. Acuarela. Watercolor. Great. Bodegón. Still life. Ejercicios. A traducir. Ese caballete parece que está un poco estropeado. That easel looks a bit damaged. Great. That easel looks a bit damaged. Tu retrato es impresionante. Es igual que tú. 
Your portrait looks amazing. It looks just like you. Great. It looks just like you. No uses esa paleta. Parece que está sucia. Don't use that palette. It looks dirty. Great. Don't use that palette. It looks dirty. Esa acuarela que pintó ella es muy abstracta. That watercolor she painted looks very ab abstract. Fantastic. El bodegón que expusiste es un poco raro. The still life you exhibited looks a bit strange. Great. El marco es muy elegante, pero el lienzo parece muy barato. The frame looks very elegant, but the canvas looks very cheap. Fantastic. The frame looks very elegant, but the canvas looks very cheap. Esos pinceles parecen muy viejos. Vamos a la tienda de bellas artes y compramos unos nuevos. Those paintbrushes look, look very old. Shall we go to the art supplies shop and buy some new ones? Great. Cambiamos. ¿No crees que el caballete parece un poco viejo? Don't you think the easel looks a bit old? ¿No crees que sus retratos son un poco feos? Don't you think their portraits look a bit ugly? ¿No crees que esos pinceles están viejos? Don't you think these paintbrushes look old? Su acuarela parece un poco anticuada, ¿no crees? Her watercolor looks a bit old-fashioned, don't you think? Su bodegón es horroroso, ¿no crees? ¿Por qué demonios lo expusieron? Their still life looks awful, don't you think? Why on earth did they display it? Esa paleta parece muy barata, pero al menos el lienzo es bonito. That palette looks very cheap, but at least the canvas looks nice. Aquel marco parece muy robusto, ¿no crees? That frame looks very sturdy, don't you think? Good job. Paso 6. Gramática 2. Okay, now we're going to look at the passive voice, which is formed with the verb to be and the past participle. First group of sentences in the present simple. Ejercicios a traducir. Se hace todos los días. It's done every day. It's done every day. Perfect. Se fabrican en China. They're made in China. Good. They're made in China. Se vende en más de 50 países. It's sold in over 50 countries. It's sold in over 50 countries. Great. Se talan miles de árboles todos los años. Thousands of trees are cut down every year. Great. Thousands of trees are cut down every year. ¿Se bebe mucho vino en Francia? Is much wine drunk in France? Fantastic. ¿Se matan muchos pájaros cerca de los aeropuertos? Are many birds killed near airports? Fantastic. Are many birds killed near airports? ¿Se dan puntos al final de cada ronda del juego? Points are given out at the end of each round of the, of the game. Great. Now we're looking at present continuous. Voz pasiva en presente continuo. Remember, the verb to be in present continuous is being. Two syllables. El nuevo teatro se está construyendo al lado del río. The new theater is being built next to the river. El futuro de la empresa se está decidiendo en aquella sala ahora mismo. The future of the company is being decided in that room right now. Se está discutiendo el contrato en estos momentos. The contract is being discussed as we speak. El soldado está siendo interrogado ahora mismo. The soldier is being debriefed right now. El postre aún no está listo. Se está preparando en la cocina. Dessert isn't ready yet. It's being prepared in the kitchen. El primer corredor está siendo adelantado por el segundo. The first runner is being overtaken by the second. Se está considerando a Rusia para que acoja los próximos Juegos Olímpicos. Russia is being considered to host the next Olympic Games. Good job. Paso 7. Verbos irregulares. Okay, irregular verbs. The verb to bid, which is... Pujar. Good. To breed, which is... Criar. And to burn, which is... Quemar. Good. A conjugarlas. Every day I bet, yesterday I bet, and lately I've bet. Perfect. Criar. Every day I breed, yesterday I bred, and lately I've bred. Perfect. Y quemarse. Every day I burn, yesterday I burned, and lately I've burned. Per Ejercicios a traducir. Chloe pujó por el reloj de pie. Chloe bet for the grandfather clock. Chloe bid for the grandfather clock. Mi tía Ruth criaba caballos de carrera antes de jubilarse. My aunt Ruth bred race horses before she, before she retired. Fantastic. My aunt Ruth bred race horses before she retired. Él se quemó el dedo cuando tocó la barbacoa. He burnt his finger while, when he touched the barbecue. Fantastic. He burnt his finger when he touched the barbecue. Es muy difícil criar osos pandas. It's very difficult to breed pandas. No he criado 
comprado ponis desde el año pasado. I haven't bred any ponies since last year. No bujes por un artículo en una subasta a no ser que te lo puedas permitir. Subasta, perdón. Don't bid for an item at auction unless you can't you can afford to pay for it. Fantastic. Don't bid for an item at auction unless you can afford to pay for it. La madera arde fácilmente. Wood burns very easily. Great. Nunca he pujado por un artículo que no podía permitirme. I've never bid for an item that I couldn't afford. Fantastic. Ella acaba de quemar todas las pruebas. She just burnt all the evidence. Great. Cambiamos. Yo no pujaría por ello si no fuera rico. I wouldn't bid for it if I weren't rich. Ardería mejor si no estuviera tan mojado. It would burn better if it weren't so damp. Nací y crecí en Gales. I was born and bred in Wales. Depende de cuánto pujen por ello. It depends on how much they bid for it. Yo no habría creado, criado al perro si no hubiera sabido que no querías que lo hiciera. I wouldn't have bred the dog if I'd known you didn't want me to. Los conejos se reproducen a una velocidad alarmante. Rabbits breed at an alarming rate. El pavo está quemado. ¿Por qué dejaste que el pavo se quemara? The turkey's burnt. Why did you let the turkey burn? Las ratas siempre se han reproducido a una velocidad alarmante. Rats have always bred at an alarming rate. Un postor anónimo que no estuvo en la subasta pujó por el cuadro por teléfono. An anonymous bidder who wasn't at the auction bid for the painting over the phone. Good job. Paso 8. Comprensión auditiva. Oh. Ejercicios. I'm gonna tell you a story. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Jackson unpacked, took a shower, and joined the other board directors for dinner. They had flown in from all over the world for what was supposed to be an, an exchange of ideas on the development of the company over the next 10 years. Now it looked as if they might be talking about how to dismantle it in the next 10 days. Okay. Te voy a hacer unas preguntas. What did Jackson do first? Unpack or join the others? The first thing he did was unpack. Fantastic. What did he do then? Then he took a shower. Great. Then he took a shower. And what did he do last? He joined the others. Great. Where had all the other board directors flown in from? They had flown in from all over the world. Great. They had flown in from all over the world. What did it look like they might be talking about? It looked like they might be talking about how to dismantle the company in the next 10 days. Fantastic. Paso nueve. Números. Ok, numbers. Vamos a hacer este ejercicio a 100 millas por hora. That's right, at 100 miles per hour. Ejercicios. El límite de velocidad en esta carretera es 120 kilómetros por hora. The speed limit on this motorway is 120 kilómetros por hora. Fantastic. Este carrito de golf no puede ir a más de 15 millas por hora. This golf cart can't go faster than 15 miles per hour. Fantastic. This golf cart can't go faster than 15 miles per hour. La policía paró al conductor porque estaba circulando a 90 millas por hora. The police pulled the driver over because he was going, he was doing... 90 miles per hour. Fantastic. The police pulled the driver over because he was doing 90 miles per hour. El guepardo es el animal terrestre más rápido. Puede correr hasta aproximadamente 70 millas por hora. The cheetah is the fastest living land animal. It can run up to a, a, approximately 70 miles per hour. Fantastic. It can run up to approximately 70 miles per hour. Aquel conductor debe de estar circulando por lo menos a 120 kilómetros por hora. La policía debería pararle. That driver must be doing at least 100 kil 120 kilometers per hour. The police should pull him over. Fantastic. That driver must be doing at least 120 kilometers per hour. The police should pull him over. Algunas motocicletas pueden ir más de 200 millas por hora. ¡Qué miedo! Some motorbikes can go more than 200 miles per hour. How scary! Perfect. Nunca he tenido las narices de ir a más de 85 millas por hora. I've never had the guts to drive more than 85 miles per hour. Fantastic. Okay, ahora te leo una frase en inglés y una pregunta en inglés. The maximum speed limit in this area is 30 miles per hour. What's the maximum speed limit in this area? 30 miles per hour. 30 miles per hour. The national speed limit in Spain is 120 kilometers per hour. What's the national speed limit in Spain? 120 kilometers per hour. Fantastic. 120 kilometers per hour. The French 
French national limit is 10 kilometers per hour faster. How much faster is the French national limit? 10 kilometers per hour. Perfect. 10 kilometers per hour. My car can do over 70 miles per hour. How many miles per hour can your car do? Over 70 miles per hour. Great. He got caught doing 90 miles per hour. How fast was he caught driving? 90 miles per hour. Perfect. He was caught driving 90 miles per hour. The airplane, this airplane, is capable of flying up to 400 miles per hour. How fast is this airplane capable of flying? 400 miles per hour. Perfect. Up to 400 miles per hour. This cow is capable of walking 5 miles per hour. How fast is this cow capable of walking? 5 miles per hour. 5 miles per hour. Good job. Paso 10. El repaso. Eso parece interesante. That looks interesting. Pareces emocionada. You look excited. Parece que están aburridos. They look like they're, they're bored. They look like they're bored. Perfect. Tendrás que estar espabilada en la reunión de la mañana. You'll have to be on the, on the ball at tomorrow's meeting. No puedes esperar que los demás solucionen todos los problemas. Tú también tienes que estar más al tanto. You can't expect everyone else to do the problem solving. You need to be more on the ball too. Perfect. Ella perdió el último autobús. Parece que está esperando el siguiente. She missed the last bus. She looks like she's waiting for the next one. Perfect. Espero que me echaras de menos mientras estaba fuera. I hope you missed me while I was away. Perfect. I hope you missed me while I was away. La semana pasada falté a mi cita con el médico. Last week, I missed my doctor's appointment. Great. Limpiar el garaje me llevó la mayor parte de la mañana. Cleaning the garage took up most of the morning. Perfect. Hacer recados me ocupó toda la mañana. Running errands took up my whole week morning. Great. Los trabajos domésticos me ocupan mucho tiempo. Household chores take up a lot of my time. Great. Ese caballete parece que está un poco estropeado. That easel looks a bit damaged. Perfect. Cambiamos. No uses esa paleta. Parece que está sucia. Don't use that palette. It looks dirty. ¿No crees que esos pinceles están viejos? Don't you think these paintbrushes look old? Se vende en más de 50 países. It's sold in over 50 countries. Se talan miles de árboles todos los años. Thousands of trees are cut down every year. El futuro de la empresa se está decidiendo en aquella sala ahora mismo. The future of the company is being decided in that room right now. Es muy difícil criar osos panda. It's very difficult to breed pandas. Nunca he pujado por un artículo que no podía permitirme. I've never bid for an item that I couldn't afford. Ardería mejor si no estuviera tan mojado. It would burn better if it weren't so damp. Jackson deshizo la maleta, se duchó y se unió a la cena con el resto de la junta directiva. Jackson unpacked, took a shower and joined the other board directors for dinner. Habían volado desde todas las partes del mundo. They had flown in from all over the world. El límite de velocidad en esta carretera es de 120 kilómetros por hora. The speed limit on this motorway is 120 kilometers per hour. Algunas motocicletas pueden ir a más de 200 millas por hora. ¡Qué miedo! Some motorbikes can go more than 200 miles per hour. How scary! Great work, Alberto. Si te ha gustado, no dudes en suscribirte al canal de YouTube y seguirnos en Facebook y redes sociales. Hasta el próximo vídeo.